Good morning and welcome to another episode of Drew's Book Review. So today's book review is going to be on Jim Butcher's book, Blood Rights. Uh, so this is one of the books of the Dresden Files series, which I've been reading. And I have to say, I have not just been reading, but thoroughly enjoying it. This is a fantastic series. It is so entertaining. It is so funny. It's fast paced. It's a quick, easy read, but it keeps you in it. You want to just keep reading and and keep going. It's just, this is a great series of books. I'm really enjoying it. Uh, Blood Rites particularly here really kind of starts out with the, with a rush, literally. I mean, if you could imagine the opening scene here, we have Harry Dresden finds himself running for his life. He's trapped inside of this old burning school. He's carrying this box of magical guard puppies through a burning school in an effort to save them, all the while he's being chased by these pyromaniac flying purple demonic monkeys who are flinging and throwing um, burning poo at him uh, as he's running through the building trying to escape with his life. Uh, and of course, naturally, he's still got to fight off all these vampires, uh, which vampires is part of this story as well. So it starts off being chased by pyromaniac demonic monkeys flying purple monkeys, carrying a box of puppies through a burning school. I mean, it's just, just a great way to start, hilarious way to start. Uh, and, and it just keeps going from there. And it's just a really fantastic um, book series within in the greater modern-day fantasy type, type of uh, literature. And overall, this is one of the, my favorites, I think, of the entire uh, Dresden Files series so far. So one of the things about Harry's uh, character profile is his biggest weakness is his sense of chivalr chivalry. Um, anytime a woman is involved in anything, he it's his weakness. He can't stand the thought of a woman being hurt or harmed. And he's really kind of got this chivalrous mentality, which tends to be the very thing that continues to get him in trouble over and over and over again. So... What happens throughout this book is that Harry is basically hired to protect these porn stars on this porn movie set where there seems to be this curse where they're being killed off, picked off one by one. Uh, and of course, all this goes back to the vampires. So, I mean, come on, you mix porn stars with vampires, you get a bloody good time. <laughs> and just... The whole concept behind that is just, it's hilarious, it's funny, it's great the way it comes together, and I am really, really enjoying um, how this these books are playing out, and the style of writing, and Jim Butcher's just done a great job. Really, it's, it's quite a funny, funny way of writing in a lot of points that just get you laughing. Uh, one of the things of interest or of note within this is that we learn more about uh, Harry's mother. Uh, so, hints have been dropped throughout the series about his mother um, and who she was, what she might have been involved with, but we didn't really know much. So, there was kind of this big reveal about who her mother was and what happened. And uh, I, I'm not going to tell you because I don't want to give any spoilers, uh, but I will say that uh, it's kind of nice now knowing more about Harry's mother, who she was, where she came from, who she was involved with. How it all became involved. So definitely, if you are a Dresden Files fan and you haven't gotten to this book yet, definitely, uh, like I said, one of, one of my favorites within the series thus far. And I have really, really enjoyed it, uh, especially as we learn more about Thomas and his connection to um, Harry and his family, Thomas being one of the vampires of the White Court, but of course there's also the Red Court and the Black Court of Vampires. And just... Just really, really fast-paced and just a great read. I definitely, definitely recommend it. Um, so those are just some of my thoughts here on the Blood Rites book of the Dresden Files. Uh, and, of course, I am not going to stop reading the Dresden Files. I've got a few more uh, on my shelf of the Dresden Files, so I'll definitely have to pick up more in order to get the rest of the series because it will certainly be worth buying. And as always... Um, you know, thank, thanks for watching. Thanks for listening. I will be reading another Dresden Files up next. This one will be called Deadbeat. Uh, so definitely stay tuned for that. 
for my review on that. These ones are quick reads, so I'll probably get this out uh, in a couple of days, as just as I got this one out in a couple of days. But as always, don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe uh, if you like this kind of content, of course. So click that like button down below, but also um, you click the links to all my other social media profiles. You follow me on Instagram, Twitter, Facebook. Um, or my WordPress site, uh, also on Goodreads. Uh, links to those profiles will be in the description below. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you for listening. Uh, and honestly, if, if you're loving the Dresden Files as well, you don't tell me about it. If, if you're not and you're hating it or whatever, tell me about that too. That's cool. But I, for one, am certainly enjoying it. Thank you so much for watching and stay tuned for my review on Deadbeat, which will be coming up next. Thanks again for watching. Hope you have yourself a great day, and we'll see you next time on the next episode of Drew's Book Reviews.